and we have returned to the room to finish off this lovely, lovely playthrough. The adventure concludes, actually. Today we will be taking on, or today, now we will be taking on Nasty's Lorp, Nasty's Lork, Nasty's Loot. Um, I gotta find the balloonist again. Should be right over here. Mm, balloonist Marco. Now we're gonna head over back to Ganasty's world. Gonna go to Ganasty's Galoot to get Ganasty's Ganache for Ganasty's Go Birthday Cake. Dragon to rescue. Well, hello there. It's Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. Is he? So, is he Rocco's modern life? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. You mean like you? Back when you have reached one hundred percent. Well, you're the last piece, so splat ah. And now we've reached Ganasty's Glute, Gluteus Maximus. So there's no enemies that can kill you in this. It's just a bunch of thieves that you have to catch and different elevations you have to reach. You have permanent regular flight, like full flight here, but your elevation, your max elevation, your max height is dependent on the highest platform you have reached by foot. So, once you've reached a certain elevation, you can then fly up to that elevation. And the way you unlock the higher elevations is by catching the thieves. And there's mostly purple and yellow gems here. There is a shit ton of treasure in this place. So, our objective, get all the treasure. In Ganesti's Galoot, because there are no more dragons left to save you. Hello, come on. There we go. A thief. Open a door. Hi there, buddy. Let me get this treasure first. The shiny shit. And now we will do the jig. See if that makes a difference at this point. It made no difference, just made it harder. There we go. Yeah, thank you. That opens up that door over there. And yeah, I'm gonna need to open up that door in order to get up to the next level. So let's go to the door. to this height. I think at a certain point you end up having to chase them in airplanes. And here we go. There's this one. And this one just opens it just runs around this open area. He should be the easiest one to catch, but of course I'm an idiot. Go, thank you. Oh, that 
landed on something. Oh, yes. Cool. Right, so I got that going. I think the ones that are in planes don't actually have keys. I think they just fly around and they have treasure. Mmm. As I as I play through Ganasty's Ganache over here, I am I am reminded of what the next game is going to be and how much I'm going to enjoy and not enjoy playing it. <laughs> it's another one of those games where it's just like, oh god. I I wanna play it. I really do. The prospect of 100 percenting it. <laughs> and there goes the airplanes. Let me go this way. I'm fairly confident I can't fly up there yet, so I can chase this guy. Oh, it was a key. Okay. It is a drawing of a key. Okay. Now, if I do die, I wonder how far back, progress-wise, I'll end up getting sent. Seventy-five jewels. Do I take damage? No, I don't. Okay. Look at that. All of that shiny shit. So now there's the airplane. Okay, yeah, it's just around the circle here, so I thought it was going to be more complicated. Shit. See, you gotta be, the lower you are to the water, the faster you go. I mean, I don't have to recollect treasure or anything, but I might have to recatch all the thieves again. That is not something I relish the idea of. Oof. Oh no! Okay. Well, now we get to find out what happens. How are we here? On flight. Oh yeah. I mean, do the doors at least stay unlocked? 
I hope so. I really do. Oh no. They don't. They don't. I gotta catch the thieves again. Oh fuck. Where is that patch of land that I now have to get to? First airplane. There we go, that's one airplane ticket. I got two tickets to paradise. Two tickets to parrot dice. Parrot dice, it's, it's, it's dice with parrots. Which is why I just stood there and waited for that shit. Maybe it was going back the other way that made this one easier. I don't know. This, I think, is the last thief. Yeah, this is the last thief. I'm fairly confident. I've already got 900 fucking treasure. There we go. I hear the pitter patter of dog feet. It's Toby! Hi, Toby! How you doing today? Get the doors through here. You gonna, you gonna hang out in the love sack? There's another thief in here. This just, I think, just gives you the last level of elevation that you need to fly. There might be another fucking thief I have to catch now. I think. I don't even know. No. Just leads to where the exit is. And a bunch of purple shit. And then... Mm -hmm, bitch. Look at all that purple shiny shit. Somehow I thought this was going to take longer. Look at that. 
That armor we don't see him wear until Spyro game that I never played. Okay, now we just exit the level for the true ending of the game. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Spyro the six? dragon. You've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon, uh, saved all the dragons, and saved all the dragons. Every bit of treasure in the dragon kingdom. Every bit of How treasure. Do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. I don't. I thought this was going to take longer. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. Nasty nukes? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. Those, those dragons over there playing basketball with sheep? This guy in nature was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again. No, we don't go again. This is never followed up on. At least, unless, let's let it happen in the hero's tale, and I just don't know it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. ba do 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 ba do Yeah, Nasty Nork comes back in a hero's tale, I think. That was like the last game in the original Spyro continuity that I'm aware of. I don't know if Spyro, like, Spyro Orange or um, Crash Purple came out at before or after Hero's Tale, or even if they're supposed to be in continuity. There's also, I think, Season of Flame and Season of Ice on the GBA that I never played, but I'm told those games are actually pretty good. But Spyro Orange um, is, is, um, is fucking awful. Ken Icarus talks about it in one of his videos. I think it's like the, the horrible world of bad crash games or something. Um, and he, and uh, I think he includes that in that in that video. He definitely does a video about it. It talks about it on a couple of different occasions. There's also um, Crash Purple, um, where Crash Bandicoot thinks he has to collect trading cards. I think I can't remember what the fuck it was. I know that in um, Spyro Orange. Um, Spyro has to fight Crash and Crash throws Molotov cocktails at him. <laughs> Dragon voices were provided by Clancy Brown and Carlos Alizraki. Michael Goff, you get the fuck out of here. Alfred? Fucking Alfred was the voice of at least one of these dragons? Holy shit. Which one did Michael Goff play? It's gotta be a different Michael Goff. It's gotta be. It's gotta be, right? Where's my computer? There's my Google search. Google. My Google. Google.com. That's stupid. Michael. Goff. Spyro. Michael Goff. Voice actor. It, it can't be the same guy. American voice actor. No, it's not the same guy. It's a different Michael Goff. Where they... Yeah, no, it's gotta be a different Michael Goff. It's a different Michael Goff. This Michael Goff was Michael Jonathan Goff. Let me see here. Spyro, Spyro. Come on. That's film. We need video games. Video games. Come on, Spyro, where are you? Yeah, it's Spyro the Dragon. Michael, this Michael Goff was the voice of Nasty Nork as well as uh, various other dragons. And he returned to play Nasty Nork's voice in the Reignited trilogy. Neat. So when was the other Michael Goff born then? Michael Goff. This is, this is that's the voice actor, Michael Goff, British actor. This Michael Goff was born in '46, ten years earlier. All right, so that was a that was something. I thought this was going to take much longer. Turn in next week. No, okay. Um, so yeah, the next uh, the next game we're going to be doing the third part, the third member of the big three. Uh, it's going to be Tomba. 
or Tombi for those of you who don't live in the United States. I don't even know. Was was Tomba called Tombi literally everywhere else? Because you, you hear you hear Cat Icarus talk, reference Tombi, and he's talking about Tomba. I already know that. Uh, Whoopi Camp was the one that made it, and they they went they went tits up after they made Tomba too or Tombi too. Yeah, I'm 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 uh, yeah. I probably should have uh, should have just done this right after. Right after I beat Nasty Nork. Although that video was pushing two and a half hours as it was. So probably for the best we push this off. I'm just I'm just filling time now. Alright, so let me get this uploaded. Shouldn't take very long. Uh, when we come back, Tomba. Later, bitches.